Hey, yo, you. You growing some sage? Have you ever noticed on your sage, sometimes you get these little spots? So, these little spots are from water damage. So, what that is, I'll usually go through and pick those off. But that lets me know that I probably got some water where I shouldn't have got some water. You know what I'm saying? Everything's not perfect. Everything's not always hunky-dory. You know, when you get in a little rush sometimes, a little water spillage could definitely damage these leaves. They don't like to have any wetness on their leaves sitting. Um, even though they naturally purify the air by taking toxic things out of the environment when water's sitting on them and they got heavy uh, metals and heavy minerals and mineral content in the water and it just sits on leaves like like this plant for example because this plant is very sensitive towards that type of uh, punishment I call it it's going to definitely respond right away. I mean, I just watered these two days ago, and this probably happened the next day, to be honest. I just didn't check it until now. But I'm not going to waste this stuff. So what I'm doing with it is just pulling it off. I'll set it to the side. I'll dry it out and use it however it may be. I mean, it's just going to be more than likely a herbal usage because of this so i won't use it for anything other than that but um and that's in cooking i mean not in a spiritual sense i'll just dry it out uh make it into a powder and put it in a jar like after i dry it of course and i just dry it by sitting it out in um uh, when i dry it out this way because there's i just don't dry it out the same way every time i mean I really can't right now, but they have hanging nets you can dry your herbs in, which is probably the best method. Or you could just create a little drying box with some type of mesh sheet under it. But my method, I would prefer these in a paper bag. Uh, they dry just fine for me every day. Just shake up the bag, move them around, make sure the moisture is or there's air getting in between the moist leaves so it can dry out and the other way is to actually take a stem from it like this and just hang dry it just hang dry it until it gets nice and crispy and dry so I mean there's a couple different ways you can also dehydrate it I mean, in that method, you might lose something, but you might not. I haven't tried it yet, but I am going to try it, so I'll keep you guys updated. But uh, I just wanted to go through that with you on your sage. If you are growing sage, oregano, well, not more, not so much oregano, but sage, lavender, rosemary, basil, basil for sure. They definitely require that when you water them, stay off their leaves definitely stay off their leaves they don't like that you know they they love the moisture uh for what it's worth below for their root system but their root system doesn't even like to stay moist like that either so just keep that in mind when you're growing those two there's my basil there and i bottom water those for the most part just because they're very sensitive on their leaves of water so uh just keep that stuff in mind you guys hopefully this video helps got any questions hit me up peace